Hello everyone. Today we're making banana bread with chocolate chips. So I've come up with my own recipe, which is a little bit healthier than what you see um, out there. Uh, mine has a cup of flour with half a cup of wheat bran, uh, three bananas, one stick of butter, a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of molasses, two eggs, half a cup of buttermilk, and half a cup of chocolate chips. As you may have noticed, there is no sugar except for the molasses and the bananas. There is also higher fiber. And third change, there is no sour cream in my recipe. It's buttermilk. So this should make it a little bit healthier than most alternatives out there. All right, so let's get going. So we're gonna take the butter and mix that into the bananas. There we go. I'm gonna add our tablespoon of molasses. It's a little squirt like this, and here we go. That's done. I'm gonna add two eggs. And a pinch of vanilla, well, actually a teaspoon, which is about this. All right, and keep on stirring. Now I'm gonna take care of these ingredients right here. So I forgot to mention in the beginning, we also need a teaspoon, I don't know if I said that, a teaspoon of baking soda, which I will add to my flour. I'm going to add my wheat bran to my flour, stir all this, pinch of salt over here, and um, once I mix the dry ingredients together, I will add that to my egg mixture right here. Half a cup of buttermilk. And to that last step, we're adding the chocolate chips. All right, so this is the recipe for regular banana bread with chocolate chips and with some healthy um, ingredients in there. You can also make this gluten-free. The only changes you have to make if you wanted a gluten-free banana bread is instead of the one cup of flour, you use a gluten-free flour. And instead of the wheat bran, the half cup that I added to increase the fiber, you can use flaxseed meal, half a cup of that to your gluten-free version. Chocolate chips are usually gluten-free. They are marked gluten-free as well. Your baking soda is gluten-free, eggs gluten-free, buttermilk, all that is gluten-free. So if you wanted to make a gluten-free version of this bread, it's very simple. Use all the same ingredients except for the flour, which you would then use gluten-free flour and flaxseed instead of the wheat bran. And you're all set. Um, as a matter of fact, I prepared one here. This, this is a gluten-free version. Um, I put it in a blue pan, that way I won't confuse it with the one I am making now, which is the regular bread. And the reason I make one of each is because my family, um, part of my family is celiac, and uh, I, I don't have celiac, so if I eat their diet, I actually will be deficient in vitamin B. So for me, their diet is not working out. Also because their flours are made with rice, it increases the glycemic index a lot more. So for people who are pre-diabetic or are diabetic, I don't suggest that you use a gluten-free version, mainly if you don't need to. Um, it's only, um, gluten-free is really only good for people who have celiac or who are allergic to 
to wheat and gluten. Um, so if you don't have to, just keep with the normal version. Um, and here we go. So I'm going to transfer that into my pan. Now, I usually do the gluten-free version first because I can have their product in a way. I'm not allergic to anything, um, but they can't. So I always start with their, their bread first and then I'll do mine. Uh, that way there's no cross-contamination of any sort. Here we go. And this. The dough for the normal one. So there's no way for me to confuse them when they bake because they we use different colors for gluten-free versus regular. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees. Uh, gluten-free will cook probably in 40 minutes. This one might need an hour, so we'll check in 40 minutes. Hi again. So my timer just beeped, 40 minutes at 350. I'm checking my bread. The gluten-free one right here, perfect, it's cooked. This one? cooked as well. And you know why? Because I used a flat dish, something that's not as deep as this. Had I used a similar um, dish to cook this bread in, I would need more time because when it's not gluten-free, it does take the regular time of one hour. But because this is a, a wider, uh, shorter dish, um, I managed to cook it exact same time as my um, gluten-free banana bread. So now it's ready. We're going to let it cool off and then we'll be able to eat it. And I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, they, they rose and they look like regular banana breads, both of them. Mm -hmm. 